Happy birthday, Katie. 22 is a good age. You know that you're an adult, but you've already figured out things, especially that adulthood does not have to suck all the time. But kidding aside, KDE was the first graphical user interface available for Unix-like operating systems. Its Plasma 5 desktop is at version 14 and has two active long-term releases and it won over some skeptics. I can quote at least three influential vloggers who claimed, in the past I didn't like it, I didn't touch it, but it has become great. Same with me. So it's time to talk about why I love KDE. The Interface a vanilla KDE installation via Debian, Kubuntu, Neon, Arch, SUSE or whatever will always give you this paradigm that the humankind is used to since Redmond 95. Bottom left corner, there's your start symbol. Oh look, a menu. I can work with that. So far so convenient, but nothing special. It gets special once you start discovering the possibilities you have with these bars. Just duck duck go search for Plasma 5 desktop and you will find all kinds of layouts. Traditional macOS-like, GNOME-like or my favorite, XFCE-like. You can use Docker programs for this, but what you can do with Plasma itself is quite impressive. And once you screwed up, here is your lifesaver. No matter how hard you messed up your configuration, you can't get lost. Oh, and the K-Runner, that little thing at the top that replaces the menu search if you know what you're looking for. Such a smart little widget. The Open Desktop Integration You know opendesktop.org? No? Then go there right away. I'm serious, this is the place for wallpapers, fonts, themes and even some peculiar widgets that might not be in your repository. The site is also known as XFCE looks, GNOME looks and so on, but KDE did the best integration. See that star? Click that star. It lets you automatically browse through the catalog of the whole site. For example, I need some nice landscape, let's search for the ocean. Here is a nice picture by Mr. or Mrs. Paninaro, one click, done, there it is. Imagine the same thing with everything. Fonts, the color scheme, the widget theme, everything. Resource management. In the Plasma 4 times there was the word, there are two large, complex and complete GUIs out there. The GNOME and the KDE. But you need a beefy machine for them, cause the desktop alone takes at least one gig of your precious, precious RAM. That was then. That is now. And you can even delete services in the system settings you don't need and tweak or turn off the compositor to give yourself another speed boost. I have Plasma 5 running on my production machine, an Intel i5, but also on an Intel Atom and a 10 year old Intel Core Duo that both just have 2 gigs of RAM. They run nicely. And I didn't even tweak anything. Speaking of tweaking, let's put the pink elephant out of the way. Imagine you're at one of these fancy coffee shops. All you want is a cup of latte macchiato, but the barista keeps asking questions. Small, tall or grande? Soy milk or cow milk? To go or not to go? Plastic cup or peter cup? Until you finally scream, please just give me some coffee! That's pretty much the system settings. You can tweak everything. On one hand, it's good to have not many, but all the options. On the other hand, there are things I don't even know what they are and what they are for and whoever would need this. Remember me speaking of a little lifesaver some minutes ago? It is this button. Whenever you screwed up, this gets you back to the default. So proceed with caution, but don't be afraid. You won't break anything. And my final point is the applications. Can we all just agree that Kaden Life is the best free video editor in the explored universe? But that's not all. Did you know that Ocula, the document viewer, can open ebooks, markdowns and latex docs and even PSD Photoshop files? Did you know that Gwenview, the image viewer, can play video files so you can sort pictures and videos at the same time? Did you know that you can expand the file manager Dolphin with all kinds of services, with all these little steps beyond what you could expect to make sure you don't hit that wall where you need something else? And K-Patience. K-Patience is the best card game collection on Linux. That might seem minor to you, but I will fight you on that. That's it from me. As I stated in the intro, I was not a fan of KDE Plasma 4 and its resource-hungry bugginess. Still, Plasma 5 is a completely different level of excellence. My favorite GUI I've experienced on Linux so far. That tells that the people behind this are creative and intelligent human beings that just keep getting better and better and better. Have a nice birthday and I'm looking forward for the things to come.
Thank you for watching. Auf Wiedersehen.